coming up in today's episode. If you're against slavery, which I think we should all be against slavery, you should fight on behalf of the animals. Oh, uh-huh, definitely. So you're okay with subjugating animals to slavery and death for five no, minutes of taste pleasure. Opinion is. Compassion takes guts. Choose veganism. Are you against animal abuse? Yes. Do you consume animals? Steak. Steak. Chicken, <laughs> pork. But you're against animal abuse, right? In theory, yes. Have you thought about the animal on the other side of, of the food? Have you put a face on the food, or do you just consume it and eat it, and that's it? I do put a face on the food, but... I gotta have steak, chops, and ham. What if I were to suggest that we don't need to eat animals to be happy, healthy, lead a great life? Are you talking about vegan? A vegan? Sure, yeah. No. Why not? It's the way I grew up. I grew up too. 30 years, I ate animals. Are you against animal abuse? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why aren't y'all vegan? I just don't choose it. This doesn't make sense to me. We eat to survive, and we've been doing it for thousands of years. Does tradition and culture dictate morality? It was tradition and culture to have slaves here in North America. I don't think slavery of black people is the same thing as animals. If you look up the definition of slavery, that's what we do to animals. Well, I'd be so mad if we literally said that slavery and then animal cruelty was the exact same thing. I couldn't walk down the street at one point without you or somebody else coming to me and saying, you're an ignorant N-word. Me? No, not me. No. 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 Because you're no. people and the white people. <laughs> right. and- I can say that animals are enslaved. Slavery isn't exclusive to one group of people. If you were the animal, would you feel like you were being enslaved? I don't think so, no. <laughs> Why not? They don't know much. It's not really fair to say, oh, well, a cow isn't smart enough, so therefore I'm going to give it this terrible existence. Do you think a hen knows that they're living in their own feces their entire life? They literally die from the ammonia that comes up from the ground floor. And if you walk into a, a hen farm, you'll see like 20 to 30 percent of all hens are literally on the floor dying. Maybe they don't know what it's like to have a great life, but we never gave them that opportunity to know in the first place. From that perspective, do you think it's justified for our five minutes of taste? pleasure if we have something else to consume in the first place. I'll still eat the cows and the chickens and the animals and as a part of my black culture I'll do it. Many many black people that I know would disagree with that. Oh well you know (laughs) but my culture my people what I know personally because I'm black. Let's assume that all black people feel the same way which they don't. Do you think that tradition and culture dictates morality? Just do what you want to do. I can't give you the answer you want. Well, maybe we haven't thought about it yet. You're not going to think here's, about it. Here's, you're not going to make me think about I it. I can't make you think about it. These questions that you're giving up, at, they're, you're not wanting to say, oh, it's a gotcha moment, but that's it's really like, what it, it it's, is. It's follow you into a, a voice of reasoning and logic, meaning the like, golden rule. Are you familiar with the golden rule? Do unto others. We have how many people who are pre-diabetic, over 100 million people in this country, how many people die of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, right? I'm doing just fine. Seven years of being vegan, I'm not falling on the floor, gasping for air and protein. I can't stop you from wanting your wants, and you can't stop me from wanting my wants at this point. If we treated animals with respect, we would by default treat other people with respect. Well, and there would be a, a lot less pain and suffering and violence in this world, a lot less oppression for everyone. For the animals, mostly, because you're not talking about everyone, you're talking about the animals. Peace begins on your plate. If you don't agree, that's fine. It would be beneficial if you looked into slavery and African-American history and what your people did. By you putting me in that camp, it's it's unfair. And everyone if, if you're against slavery, which I think we should all be against slavery, you should fight on behalf of the animals. Oh, uh-huh, definitely. So you're okay with subjugating animals to slavery and death for five no, minutes of taste pleasure. Your opinion is. It's you literally fact. It's Here's literally the thing. if you said, oh my gosh, this black person is not is an animal, then I could literally be like, well, that's your opinion, and you can have your opinion, and I could walk away from that. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm not even close to saying that. I have, close place I have to two say points that. to say to you. First off, you cannot compare ripping of an animal to ripping of a human. I will, and I am. No, well, that's a saying that, that it was okay to for her to be what about the what not. about the human being that animal that's not right dude you can't just compare that we have all these different protests for animal rights and things like that when i see the oppression of my people on a regular basis shouldn't you be on the front lines of fighting for the animals if you know what it's like well, i'd rather be on the front line fighting for my people first you can do that too at the same time it's not mutually exclusive we can do everything at the same time are you against animal abuse yes i follow PETA on instagram if that counts oh really yeah are you vegan no I'm yeah. trying something, you know, oh. little baby steps, right? Uh, baby steps are for... Babies? <laughs> <laughs> are you against animal abuse? Yes. Yes. Why aren't you vegans? I like okay. meat. <laughs> so are you against animal abuse? Yeah, for sure. Why aren't you vegan? I am vegan. You 
are vegan. I am indeed. Kid out. <laughs> Chicken tastes good. It tastes good. It's a pleasure. That's what life is about. It's for pleasure. <laughs> pleasure to me and many, many men out there would be going around being women nonstop, right? Just because it's a pleasure doesn't mean it's justified, right? They don't want to be used. They don't want to be abused. They don't want to die for someone's meal. Do you really believe that like your impact here today is like affecting the world and changing? Yes, I do. I mean, maybe God put animals here for us to eat them. Where in the Bible does it say that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Next time you eat, just think about who you're eating, not what you're eating. Are you against animal abuse? Yes. Yes. Why aren't you vegan? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> kind of walked into that one, huh? Do you think your taste pleasure, however long that is, five minutes, 10 minutes, two minutes, do you think it's worth the entire existence of that animal? The only thing the little animal has is his life. Do you think our taste pleasure is worth that? Times 200 animals that we eat a year on average. Sounds right? horrible. <laughs> is it worth it? Uh, no, no. I'm a Christian, and so I believe that uh, the Lord has given us dominion over the earth. Really nowhere in the Bible does it say you have to eat animals or sacrifice animals to be a good Christian. Having dominion over the earth and animals, does that mean to breed them into existence, enslave them, and then murder them for our taste pleasure? Or is it more of like a caretaker position where we have dominion over it, but we take care of the animals and the earth while we're here? God commands his people to, to sacrifice like certain animals. So I don't think that's correct. One of his commandments was Exodus 2013, thou shall not kill. Let's assume that the Bible says we need to sacrifice animals. It doesn't, but let's assume that. Is that something that's very godly or loving? I'm not sure. Something to, something to think about. I've definitely like felt some probably guilt when killing even just like lizards or something for my own pleasure. So I'm not sure how to make an argument against that because I could say that God made animals to give us fuel, but he also made plants for that as well. What would it take for you to look more into this? This conversation alone pushes me to look more into this. Are you against animal abuse? Yes. Of course I am. Why aren't you vegan? I mean, I like cheese. Is that justified to take the animal's life, cheese? I mean, I don't think you take the animal's life right. to create cheese. I didn't think there was death and destruction and all that fun stuff in dairy. The cow has to produce milk, right? Her being mammalian, just like us, she has nine months of gestation. Mm -hmm. She gives birth and then her babies are taken away from her. We take the milk from her, hook her up to the machine every day. When she's spent, we forcibly impregnate her again. So all of this for cheese. Does it sound like animal abuse? Yes, that sounds like animal abuse. Of course it does. Do you think if you look more into it, you would consider going vegan? For sure. I definitely would. We are carnivores. Are like, we? You, yeah, we are. Do you think the hospitals are filled with people who eat their fruits and vegetables? Well, probably not. So are you going to tell the shark that it can no longer eat the seal? No, no. Are you going to tell the polar bear that it can't Absolutely eat the seal? not. I will ask an, a human to not eat the animal, right? We see a lion when the lion's licking its own and eating its own children that, hey, let's do what that lion does, right? Or do we have a little bit higher intellect and say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to eat this animal because I don't have to. We have a plant alternative. I mean, I'm over 60 years old and you're asking me, you know, am I going to change? And the best I can tell you is I'm slowly doing it. I am making other choices. You know that you're doing all this injustice. Why continue to do it? If you actually know it's bad, you actually don't need it to live. Why do we prolong the suffering I when we could just stop I, right now? Very valid point but you're also asking a large section of people to suddenly shift gears. Do you think peace begins on your plate? Do you think that if, could, if, yeah. if we can take the necessary decisions that we have every single day of our lives, two, three, four times a day and say, I'm not gonna to contribute to this because there was a little animal that all they had was their little lives and that's all they had and we consumed that in five minutes. Do you think if we stopped doing that, do you think we would treat other human beings with respect and admiration and the empathy that they rightly deserve as well. You're right, it can begin on the plate to, to develop more empathy. Mm -hmm. So that's a very valid statement. We're in denial. Consuming animals is animal abuse. Stop abusing animals and go vegan. Please share this video far and wide. Thanks for watching. Join us in spreading the message of veganism. Please visit patreon.com forward slash save lives. For as little as $3 a month, you can help us save lives and reduce animal suffering. Everything helps, and your help will save lives.